Lockdown has been a trying time for everyone and although restrictions are lifting, the struggle may continue for many of us. That's why when creating this Wellness Compass series, we look to you, our creative community, to help us provide some positive solutions and helpful tips on how to nurture your wellbeing from your own home or local surroundings. Based on the NHS Five Steps to Wellbeing, this series offers some fun and creative activities wherever you are and whenever you need them. And this week, we're taking a look at how to stay connected. So this week, um, we're staying connected, uh, and a way that I'm staying connected is that I'm making sure that I make time to watch um, some theatre at home with National Theatre, live watching uh, Twelve Night, and I'm watching it with my partner, and we're doing a, a little date thing. Say hi, Matt. That's how we're staying connected this week. Every Thursday, uh, the National Theatre at Home are doing a premiere of a um, theatre show that you can watch live, I'm um, free, on YouTube. Um, so that's the way we like to do it. So if you go on the National Theatre YouTube page and then you click on there, there we go. So you can watch uh, your live stream and you can um, you can witness a beautiful performance every Thursday for free. stay connected and obviously at the moment um, is more important than ever and me and Josh have been working on our show um, Where the Lost Socks Go under our company Under the Bed Theatre. A couple of things that we've been doing to stay connected um, is doing some brainstorming for um, uh, some new ideas um, for our show so we've been doing your classic spider diagrams um, we've been doing some sort of fun warm-up games and activities that sort of get your brain in the zone and get um, kind of get you warmed up get your brain warmed up and um, spark some sort of ideas um, and get the imagination going um, and we've also been um, looking and reading through our script um, that we've devised um, originally and sort of editing and adapting. I think it's really important to um, continue that sort of motivation and energy even through a screen, even on Zoom or Skype. Um, because if you're in the, when you're in the same room, it's so much easier um, to kind of bounce off each other's ideas because that energy is there. If you're all in the in the same zone and frame of mind, um, then it's definitely possible to stay connected even across um, a screen. So me and Josh have been playing lots of um, fun brainstorming games um, which kind of help us warm up and get our brain in the zone for um, devising and um, making our continue making our show. Um, so I'll show you Josh right here. Um, and we're going to play the 3 2 1 game, um, which we play quite a lot. Um, it's basically quite a simple game and um, we count down three two one and it's sort of like a word association we both say the first word that comes into our head um, and then we count down um, three two one again and then we say a word that we associate um, between the two words we've just said if that makes sense it's probably easier to just do it and go for it so <laughs> let's go for it okay three Two, one, pens. Sky. What did you say? Pens. Pens. Yeah. Okay. What did you say? Sky. Sky. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, clouds. Blue. Blue and clouds. clouds. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, Sun. Rain. Oh. Three, two, one. One, Rainbow! Oh no! Three, two, one. Colourful! Oh! Wait, what did you say? Colours. I said colourful. Isn't that sort of the same? That's sort of the same. I think we can give ourselves that. Yeah, I think we can. 
<laughs> so we've had lots of fun playing these games over video calls and it's exactly what we'd be doing in the rehearsal room so why change that and there's lots of other great examples of games uh, including the one two three game that we just played um, you could also have little quizzes as well general knowledge or pick some really fun um, categories uh, another great one that I've played before if you have a group chat is to um, pick out quotes from things that people have said in your group chat in the past and everyone and that everyone else has to guess who said it that's always a fun one and and these games can be played on a whole number of websites you've got Skype you've got Zoom you've got Teams you've got FaceTime phone calls uh, but another great way that we found to stay connected at under the bed theatre is actually just to write a simple letter to each other. And this is a really fun way of staying connected. It's not instant and it takes a few days for the letters to get there, but there's something really exciting about receiving a letter through the post and uh, and reading it and um, yeah, and, and catching up that way. So send a letter to someone and who knows, you might just get one back. <laughs> Connected, I'm going to be hosting a living room karaoke session. Uh, this is my spooner phone. Kate also has a spooner phone that you're going to see in a minute. Um, so, actually, living room karaoke is something that we've been doing for quite a while because, in the mixture of our friends, we have friends who love singing and have a background in singing. We also do drama together, and then we have other friends who can't think of anything worse than singing in public. Um, so we started doing living room karaoke a few years ago and have really enjoyed it and actually this whole experience has opened the door even more with it because we never would have considered doing this with people who were living away it's always just who can be in that living room with you in that moment but this is kind of a bit of a revelation where friends who don't live in the same city as us and we don't see as much as we like um, it's a new way that we can experience doing the Marmite thing that karaoke is all together. I really, I've always really loved karaoke. It's always been a really sort of fun thing to be able to do. Um, so being able to do something this, something like this on Zoom with some with some friends and having a, a good time, um, it's, it's really, really lovely. So I've got Kate on Zoom over here. Uh, and then I also have her plugged in to my mega speaker. But obviously, you could just do this out of the sound out of your computer if you don't have a mega speaker. And then I'm gonna get whatever I want on, uh, on karaoke on YouTube to sing. But we're gonna do a little sound test with a bit of Kate Bush. Got my spooner phone at the ready. TV's too quiet, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a disclaimer before we begin. Um, so Kate and I are curating our song list today and some of the songs I uh, don't know the words to and a lot of people will be thinking, but it's karaoke, you can read the words. But as a dyslexic person, that is not as easy as it sounds. Um, so I like to do the shmina shmur when I get lost in a song. So you, you might hear the shmina shmurs tonight, you might not. Do you think so? We all love a shmena shmena. Well, I'll be there for you, cause you're there for me too. No one could ever know me. Shmena shmena shmena, shmena shmena shmena. 